Nice dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. I'm pissed off. Um, This was the knife that I just shared with you fuckers that I had just recently got modded. Uh, just got this back. Uh, love the mod job. But I'm sitting here at the house flicking it and... It just stopped working, stopped locking up. Granted, you know, I, I, I do got a strong finger, uh, otherwise known as a finger cannon. And it just, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But um, I had seen a video from a uh, another channel who had a um, an older Mordax. And he had some similar issues, I believe. So uh, I'm assuming the worst. So let's go ahead. I decided to go ahead and start recording to see what the fuck it is I'm going to encounter on this. Now, I've taken part hundreds of knives, but I've never taken apart a Mordax. So this will be a first for me to see the inside. I, I don't imagine it looking any different than our usual um, plunge locks. Um, but let's find out what's going on in here. It seems like, so like something just broke. You know, I don't know what the fuck it is, but... Um, Maybe the spring or I don't know. But well, we about to find the fuck out. So let's do this. Take out both of these. What is that? That's some type of lock bar that these screws hold. Are those both the same? Yep, those are both the same. Uh, let's see what we have here. I need to get me one of those plastic. Um, what you call, one of those plastic damn um, pry bars. Am I missing a screw somewhere or something? Oh, I am. Okay, we got another body screw here. You know, because normally the, the, the blade would, would come to the house without having to push the button in all the way, but this one seems like it's making me have to push the button. Yeah, something's fucked up. That burns my ass, man. You know, granted shit happens, but um, it shouldn't be happening to this fucking American classic right here. Okay, is that the same side? Nope, that's a longer one. So that is a body screw. So we're gonna keep that there. I don't necessarily know if these um, pocket clip screws hold anything in. Am I missing anything else? But I guess we better take them off nonetheless, just in case there's some type of liner or something in there. All right, so that one came out. All right. Let's see if that one is small. Okay, yeah, there is another. There's, another, there's a blind screw in there as well. So that seems to be what's holding our, um, our scales together. Let's keep that intact. Put that right there. And we've got, so wait a minute. This long one goes in the body right there. This blind one goes right here by the pocket clip. So I'll put that with the pocket clip. All right, let's see what we got. Boom. Now, what the fuck is going on here? So that sits like that. What the fuck happened? Did the screw just come out of, did the spring just come out of place or something? Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, so that, I like mine to ride like this. that bar break or something let's see what's that that's the actual button okay that plunger broke so that's what broke here the actual plunger um, I've heard ProTech has got a really good um, really good warranty department so I'm going to reach out to them 
and uh, see what they tell me, and I will keep you fuckers updated. This is a little disconcerting, though, you know? Um, $240 knife, just flicking the motherfucker here. Granted, I do have some amazing centrifugal force, which is generated from this finger in particular, but this one also. And that's all it was. I was flicking the fuck out of it. I ain't gonna shit you. But I'll keep you fuckers updated as we get, uh, as I do some uh, some correspondence with Protech. And um, yeah, stay dangerous, fuckers.